Hello everyone and welcome. As requested from some of our viewers, here is a full tour of our self-built camper van. Let me tell you a brief history. The van is a Photon Tuana Executive Edition and we purchased this brand new back in 2018 in mind that I'll eventually convert the van within 5 years. We briefly use it as a private van for 1-2 to two months before we start taking out all interior contents and use the van as a cargo holding for my business. Fast forward to 2021 September, we started the conversion and it took me 45 days to finish. Now let's begin our tour and we start from the exterior. Above is our lead bar, which I only use on dark places. It comes with a cover that I put while traveling in a normal road condition. Now we move on to the driver's side. You can see we installed additional light, one, two, two on the other side, two at the back, a camera, and on top my air condition and my GSM booster. Let's continue walking around the van and I'll show you additional lights for security. We've got one here and another two behind the door. Now let's start walking towards the back area. On this left door we store our camping gears like chairs, table, tents and lamps. Plus we have our toolbox and spare parts. In the center is our 300 water liter tank and one 220 outlet. And on this right door is where you find the juice in the van. Further inside there is a grey metallic case that's our solar charger inverter. This is my tarp for maintenance under the van. This is my charger cable and my water hose. This van has 4 pieces 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery. We have 2 here and 2 on the inside and they are configured in series and parallel to get a total of 24 volts 200 amp hour power. And lastly the 2 rear doors does open really wide. On this side we have our generator, that's our water inlet, and this is our power inlet. Currently I have my generator running because my wife is hair drying her hair, so I plug my van directly to the generator for more power. Now we're done to the exterior and let's slowly move to the inside. That's my wife there graciously exiting the van. Before we enter the van you can see that we have a couple of things here. We have USB sockets, 220 power socket, and a water outlet to clean your feet before entering the van. Now as we enter the van, we are greeted with two cute creatures. That is Prince Chuck, and up here is our Princess Blair. Both of them are Pomeranians. On the front of the vehicle, we have two captain's chairs. They do individually turn around, either facing forward or backward. Also on the driver's side, we have this two-seater seat. They do move in the middle and recline back. On top of the seat, we have this single door storage, where we store our USB fan, Blair and Chuck supplies, tea, crackers, noodles, more crackers and snacks. Next to the cupboard is our glass breaker for emergency and here is our center storage for pillows. Above here is our fan which works on both ways. It can supply or extract air and it can be opened and closed by turning this knob. And on the right side before exiting we have our key holder and a dimmer knob for our LED cove light. Under the passenger seat houses a plastic box for our tire maintenance kit. Behind the driver's seat are Blair's and Chuck food as well as shoe storage. Next to this is we have a other chair storage where we store our cooking pots and seasoning plate and of course next to it is a plastic box full of rice. And on this side is our main switch panel for all our systems. We have water pump, drink pump, grey water, cove light, exterior lights with the secondary switches for all our exterior lights which is very handy when traveling at night. Mm -hmm. 
Next to that is our aircon, our fridge, our USB power, work lights, panel switch, and roof vents. That's for our water, that's for our grey water, and this is for our battery. We now move to the next cupboard where our coffee and plates are stored. Next to that is our lotions, sunblocks, and other vanity kits. Below this is an open storage for easy access for more stuff. And down here are all our clothes, and at the bottom is our first aid kit. Under the bed we have more storage and a visual view of the water tank. And on the right is our drinking water, which gets sucked up from the hose and goes into our drinking tap. And also we have more deep storage on the left side where we store our rice cooker. And this is a sensor that detects high level of carbon monoxide. This thing is loud. And here is our freezer and our fridge. Next to that is our cutlery, chopping boards, our glass and mugs on the third drawer. And the last two drawers are more onto assorted things. Under the sink we have our cleaning items where we store our rags, bean bags, toiletries, disposable dinner set, and more. And also during the night we have these two courtesy lights which is very helpful at night. And here is our kitchen, we have the faucet, our drinking tap, our soap dispenser, and some dishwashing pads. And now let's go to the sleeping area. Directly on our bed, we can find some USB outlet, some magnets for our phone, and here is our AC controller that directs cold air through these vents. On the other side, we have more USB sockets and an outlet. And here is a glimpse of our window from the inside. Before you enter the shower, we have an array of switches that control our exhaust and light in the shower. Inside our shower is an exhaust on the ceiling which is very useful on bad odors. Below that is our toilet, and on the opposite side is our shower and sink. So just in case if it rains outside, we can still cook our food while staying inside our van. And here is how we set up our dining table. Also, if we need more counter space, we have this foldable countertop. That sums up our camper van tour. Hope you enjoyed our video. Follow, like, and subscribe for more. See ya!